I spent three years doing, you know, political theory, and I actually worked specifically on um, models of, you know, participatory democracy. And it's so it's something that's like intellectually, academically, is something that really interested me. And I I felt like, well, of course, that's the way democracy should be. That you should have, you know, ordinary citizens actively involved in the deliberative process. I think I kind of. That this is a pipe dream. You don't think that this can really happen, but when I started to do outreach and really talk to ordinary people, and sort of realizing that a lot of people don't vote because they don't have confidence in their knowledge, because they don't feel they know enough, especially in Korean community, because of language barrier. You know, and many of them are new citizens. They feel like. They don't have a right to an opinion, even though they register to vote. They don't go vote because they feel they don't know enough. They don't have that confidence. They don't have that sense of self. Like they can have a voice. They shouldn't have a voice. So they deny it to themselves. And I think the only way to counter that is to give them confidence by asking them to be part of the debate, part of the deliberation. Because once you start getting them in a conversation, and this happened again and again at the senior citizen home, because my aunt and I made the rounds, like trying to talk to as many people as possible, you know, after election day. Almost all of them said, "Oh, I don't know anything. I don't even know who to vote for." And then, but once my aunt started talking to them about Iraq, and about Medicare. Then they were just going off, you know, how it's affecting their lives and how appalled they were by the war. They would just go off and like, this is so interesting. They don't feel like they have a right to vote because they're not informed, but they have such strong opinions and so passionate. So, I mean, so th that's what I mean. It's like if we just engage them and allow them a place to speak and and talk to one another, really have a dialogue and have. Uh, congressmen, elected officials, there listening to them and talking to them. Like, imagine that. We can do that. We have friends who work for, you know, congressmen. We could work for congressmen. We can be the middle people and get your parents, grandparents in a room with the congressmen. It's that simple. We can do that.